going to a bomb and pop store ba -na 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 -na, to get me some good old breakfast food. This is the way. What is up, everybody? Chopper Fett here. You can call me Brett. Making that motorcycle videos like we always do here on the channel. Now, what was that singing about in the very first segment? And that is because we are headed to a place called Pullman's Cafe up in Leavenworth, Kansas. So, you know, it's going to take me about an hour or so to get there, which I don't imagine you'll want to be part of that whole trip. So what we're going to do is kind of pick it up when we're a little ways out and we'll get into our subjects, which is just that, mom and pops. About halfway home now to Leavenworth or so. We just entered uh, Bonner Springs. Let's kind of start talking about these mom and pops. So, you know, what is a mom and pop exactly? Well, to me, a mom and pop is essentially anything that's not a chain. Mom and pops can range from restaurants, cafes, like we're doing here today. But then like antique stores, you know, glass stores, things of that nature where it's a lot of different little maybe knick-knacky type items, but there's, there's no corporate backing. There's no one to bail them out. It's just literally, it's just literally the owners and that is it, which can be kind of daunting if you really think about it, if you are a small business owner, because you know, if, if something goes wrong at your current job, there's a good chance you get to keep your job. If something goes wrong as you being the owner, <laughs> oh boy, you're you're pretty much going to be SOL when it when it all boils down to it. So, so that's to me what a a mom and pop truly is. They they seem to be kind of a dying breed, even. <sighs> I will say though, since Kind of the, the C word has died down just a little bit though. I do notice a few more popping up, but really mainly like coffee and pastry shops. These really have popped up in our area. I like to support small business. Um, I also like to support other types of business like veteran owned businesses, things of that nature. Anything that can help give back to the community and not line corporate America's greedy pockets. Ooh, that sounded really mean. I didn't mean it like that. It kind of work for corporate America if you think about it. So I, I, I need I need those pockets to be lined. <laughs> Just not everyone else's. I'm not sure if you've uh, been able to notice on the ride here today so far, but Chopper Fett's not going in a straight line all the time. Yeah. Once I get out of my neck of the woods and the, all those country roads, and I can kind of hit some of the highways. Some of the highways have some nice little twist to them so it's been kind of a nice change of pace uh it took about 30 miles to, uh, to find something that wasn't a straight road but we got it we got it look at me look at me do you see me look at me spoke too soon straight road sure do wish i had those uh four pegs i tried to install that one time oh that'd be so nice right now just this ah but alas, the failure. We made it to Leavenworth County, but we gotta go through Lansing still before we get into Leavenworth. Ooh, gin and two coffee. That is not where we're going, but we'll have to keep that one in mind for next time. Ooh, 50. Better slow down for that one. That, that seems like a speed trap. So why are we visiting this mom and pop in particular today, this Pullman's? 
No real reason. But today is the first day of a vacation for me that lasts, today's a Friday, and then it lasts all of next week. So, kind of planned out some a little adventures because, you know, in my moto vlogs, I don't always have the most time to myself. So one of the days that I wanted to do was a mom and pop cafe, which is what this is. And then after I get done at the cafe, I kind of have a couple other episodes that are able to be filmed out in this area because I just don't get out this way that much. So that's why I wanted to kind of at least spotlight one of them today. And I'm looking at the clock. I, <laughs> I ended up kind of sleeping in shocker you know for someone on vacation but i ended up sleeping in just a little bit and kind of got a late start so what i was hoping was maybe going to be my breakfast might end up being a lunch or a brunch gotta get out of lansing first feels like lansing goes on forever popeyes has turkeys they got turkeys Ooh. it's a spot Spider, 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 spider. It's a spider, 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 spider. What side do you get to Leavenworth though? We will need to pull over very briefly because I don't have a freaking clue where this place is. Like I know the general how to get to Leavenworth, which is basically take this highway seven straight up, which is what we've been doing all day today. But I have no idea once we get into town where it's at. And so actually, maybe before we even get to this construction, let's just go ahead and situate that now. Oh, it's been a while since I had a shift down. That was a non-stop ride. That was actually kind of nice. There's no stoplights that I hit. Just, just get old, get old. Straight roads, I don't know. Alright, do a couple things here. Get still at 54%, you'll be fine. I'm running a app on my phone that's allowing me to control the GoPro so I can use the media mod and all that fun stuff. But I know the media mod likes to eat batteries, so buy a little jump pack with it. Uh, I should have done it from the beginning since I've been kind of recording everything on the highway, but um that didn't happen <laughs> the reason being is i thought i was just going to record when i got to leavenworth but i saw how nice the the roads essentially were and i was like "Ooh!" all right so let's see you charging can't tell well this worked the other day why aren't you working now you're in output. Oh, well, this is not throw a kink in my plan today if this does not end up working like I need it to. Mm, I got a road mic thing. I hope that's not the going to be my downfall. I should have checked the cable before I left. All right. Let's find where we're going, though. We should have at least enough battery juice to get us to the restaurant. Oh, I have no internet service. Awesome. I guess we'll get a little bit closer to Leavenworth before we uh, find out where we're going. No, that was a fail stop. All right. Anyway, back on the road. Uh, we are in now in Leavenworth. That was <laughs> not so bad. Hey, problem with now being in Leavenworth is I have no cell signal. Awesome, good job to you, Mobile. You're all over the place, yet not not up this way, I guess. Lovely, lovely. We're going on an adventure. That I don't know where. All I know is nothing is going as planned. My cable doesn't work to charge my battery. I really don't know what's going on. So I know from definitely looking at the map, it's like 
old Leavenworth, anyway. And look, there's a freaking T-Mobile store right there, and I have no coverage. That makes so much sense. Yeah, I'm going to show you this great product here. Uh, I can't let you test it because we don't have service here. <laughs> yeah, get done paying on this iPhone 13 or whatever it is. I think it's time to go ahead and switch uh, switch companies. Hey, there's some signal back. We have a chance. Oh wait, that says <laughs> that says Iowa. Oops, that's not going to be the right Pullman's Cafe, or is it? I can't tell. We found it. Oh, we haven't found it yet, but we're in the right area. Yep, yep, there it is. Pullman Place. Pullman Place Family Restaurant. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Man, all the kind of cool spots are already taken. Ooh, sushi and sake. Hmm. We made it. Let's go see how this place is. Well, that might be the best burger I've ever had. As I was eating, it made me glad I was making the video so I wouldn't forget where it came from. Not sure if you watched How I Met Your Mother, but there was a whole episode where they were trying to find the burger shop that had the best burger. They try over and over and over, but they can't remember where it is. Well, that won't happen to me, at least because of the video. The fries were pretty much standard cafe fries with a little seasoning on them. However, the house honey mustard made them for a nice accompaniment to the burger. Hope you all enjoyed riding along with me here to the Pullman's Place Cafe up here in Leavenworth, Kansas. And as always, I will catch you on the next dark side as this is the way. Ciao for seeing you next one. Laters!